Vince McMahon is back at WWE to ensure a smooth sale process. Here's who might want to buy it. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is the Sunday edition of Tyrone Bowman Tonight. This is part two of a three-part uh, video uh, series here. So when I last left off, talking about the potential sale of Vince McMahon being back on the board of directors, uh, let's talk about now some of the uh, individuals who may be interested in purchasing uh, WWE. Comcast might be interested. Comcast, which owns NBC Universal, is a potential fit as buyer for WWE. McMahon's company already has an exclusive streaming deal with Comcast Streaming Service, Peacock, and a cable TV deal with NBC Universal. USA Network, Comcast has a market capitalization of more than $160 billion and can easily afford the company, especially with a $9 billion or more check coming as soon as January 2024 from Disney for a 33% stake in Hulu. Comcast can lock up WWE in perpetuity without having to pay upcoming rights renewal increases and can use the company's IP or intellectual property for theme parks, movies, and other spin-off series. Still, Comcast CEO Brian Roberts said in October, the bar is the highest it's been in terms of M&A and has repeatedly said the company isn't in a rush to pursue an acquisition. Well, what about Fox? Fox seems less likely than Comcast to pull off a deal for WWE, giving it a significantly smaller balance sheet and its $17. billion market valuation. Its ongoing alliance with uh, Recombing with News Corp and its lack of presence in the global streaming wars. Still, Fox has an existing liner TV deal with WWE for Friday Night SmackDown. And the company may feel the time is right to increase scale, given its News Corp merger ambitions. Fox sold off most of its entertainment assets in its $71 billion sale of Disney, I mean, $71 billion sale to Disney in 2019. But WWE fits with the smaller company's sports and live focus. Also, Disney may be in the mix as well. Returning CEO Bob Iger. Returning CEO Bob uh, Iger may want to make a splashy acquisition as he retakes the throne at Disney. WWE fits Disney in the same ways that it fits Comcast. It would bolster Disney's streaming ambitions, perhaps ESPN Plus. It would support the linear network business and it would also add some heft to merchandising and theme park businesses. Comcast didn't want Disney walking away with Fox in 2019 and drove up the price by tens of billions by toppling Iger's initial bid. Could Iger see WWE as the next IP battle between Disney and his rival Comcast? I'll be back with the third and final part of the potential sale of the World Wrestling Entertainment, the juggernaut known as WWE. I'm Tyrone Bowman. Never surrender. Never quit.